It's a great day in the 49th District, parts of Fayette and Washington County, the Mon Valley. I'm State Rep. Bud Cook. Thank you for giving me the honor and the opportunity to represent you and your family here in Harrisburg and in our district. This week's Mon Valley Moment honors our veterans and our community's efforts to pay tribute to these heroes. All part of what makes me so proud to call this area my home, where I grew up, with so many veteran leadership role models, and where I am honored to represent the 49th the Mon Valley. So my Veterans Week ceremonies began on Wednesday morning at Shalroy Area School District where I attended the 15th annual day honoring our veterans. To see so many of our veterans, real leadership role models, interacting with our young people, well let's just say our administrators and teachers are getting it right. Also, to have the opportunity to speak with our young leaders in the student body gives me both great pride and hope for our future. Later that same night at Ringgold Area High School, I was honored to attend the advanced screening of Homecoming, Sergeant Hamilton's Long Journey. This documentary will make you so proud to be from the Mon Valley and proud of Sergeant Vern Hamilton, who, at the age of 19, gave his life in service of his country, his family, and our community as a whole. He's a fine example of who we are in the 49th District. Finally, Saturday, I attended the annual Veterans Day Parade back in Shalroy. My very first Veterans Parade was in Denora as the representative elect in 2016. The respect and appreciation for our veterans can be seen and found everywhere in the 49th District, where we are abundantly blessed with the rich examples of leadership role models that have served our country. This parade was outstanding and again showed our community's appreciation for those that have served and have served. The highlight for me was standing with my friend, Mr. Armin Lorenzi. Let me tell you about two of my leadership role models who were both World War II veterans. Mr. Courtney was on the first wave at Normandy and used to answer the phone when I asked how he was doing, not bad for a fugitive of statistics. The other friend was Henry Anderson, who served under Patton as a tank commander, received three Purple Hearts among too many medals to mention, and lost his leg in an explosion. So you can see my appreciation, not only for Mr. Lorenzi's friendship, but more importantly, his service. Please visit our website to read his entire story. Also, be sure to visit repbudcook.com to sign up for our weekly e-newsletters. They will keep you updated on a weekly basis about our efforts to improve the district and the region. You can also find us on Facebook at Rep But Cook. All of our contact information will be shown shortly. Remember, it's always a great day in the 49th. God bless you, our veterans, and your family.